I'd like to now call on and welcome to Geelong, uh, President of the ACTU, Jeff Kearney. Thanks, Tim. It's a real honour to be invited to stand here with you today. Uh, it's men and women like you who keep fights like this going, and I know it's been a long fight uh, that mean an awful lot to other people out there who are undergoing what you're going through. Um, it's true, it's true what uh, Brett said, this happens everywhere, not just in the manufacturing industry. I come from the nurses' union. I was federal secretary of the ANF, and I can tell you that even in that industry, we had aged care facilities that underwent exactly the same thing. Uh, when nurses were sacked from um, aged care homes, they had no entitlements and no super, uh, and no leave and no redundancy. I think that this is a really important fight, and I congratulate the AMWU and all the other unions who have fought long and hard to get what that we think is a great announcement uh, from the Gillard government to say that they will protect workers' entitlements. Not only that, they are going to make companies absolutely accountable for the superannuation. I know a lot of you have lost a year, maybe even some 20 months I heard, 20 months of superannuation payments that weren't made into your fund. That is theft, basically theft, because that is your money that should have gone into that. And it's quite right when uh, Lee says it is corruption. So that's an important improvement as well. The ATO, the Australian Taxation Office, is also going to be given, if Labor is elected, uh, extra powers to stop this, what they call Phoenix companies being set up, which is exactly what this bloke has done, closed one business down, opened another one up, and then another one. And you're just doing it the same thing over and over again to another set of workers, and it is absolutely disgusting. So there is a bit of hope. Um, I think it is very important though that people know that there are differences between parties on this very important issue coming into the election. And I ask you to talk about that, to talk about that at, at, workers, at work, to talk about that at school, to let people know that there are fundamental differences this election about these things. I've been going around all over the country talking about the fact that we cannot, we cannot elect a government that is committed to work choices style of industrial relations. Because at the end of the day, work choices was about a total and complete lack of respect. Lack of respect for you. For you guys, for us who work really hard to keep companies and make companies successful. And we deserve a lot more than that. We deserve respect. We deserve respect from our governments, from the laws they make, and from our employers. So thanks very much everyone for coming here today. Keep up the conversation, keep it up in the media, keep talking about it because it's really important that people know the differences this election. Thanks very much for having me here today. So I'd like to everyone to welcome Darren Cheeseman uh, for coming along and supporting the workers. Uh, thanks, comrades, and uh, uh, firstly, my condolences, of, obviously, to the workers for uh, you having your entitlements ripped from you. Uh, as has been mentioned, this is absolute theft, uh, and the federal government will take the necessary legislative action to stop this uh, into the future. This election, of course, is very clear, very clear indeed. Tony Abbott will bring back the worst aspects of work choices. He will bring back individual contracts. He will remove from workers the opportunity to seek unfair dismissal. He will certainly not take necessary steps to protect employees' entitlements. This election is very clear. And I ask you, as working men and women of Geelong, to support both myself and the federal member for Corio, because we will take action to support workers. We will take action to support your entitlements. Time and time again, I have come out to picket lines through, uh, uh, through this job, but also previously as a union official, where workers have lost their entitlements. They have lost their long service leave. They have lost their annual leave. We as a Gillard government will work with the union movement to protect your entitlements. That is only fair, that is only just. It is your pay, it is your conditions, it is your sweat, and you are entitled to that money. So we will take those necessary steps come the election. We will ensure that we legislate to protect your entitlements so that you do, when companies do go belly up, uh, get compensation for that, both in terms of long service leave, uh, in terms of redundancy, uh, and any other entitlements that you are owed. Phoenix companies 
are a strategy that has been engaged time and time again by employers and they do it deliberately. They move money from your entitlements into other accounts so that they can continue to drive their fancy cars and the like. And that is simply not acceptable. It is your entitlements, it is your money, and we will take the necessary steps to address that. Thank you.